Hello my friends, I'm um, in this video, I'm back again, second two videos in one day, my first one doing this, but I just came across something, oh, a few, back before I started this YouTube channel, I thought I might have made a video like this, but I'm just going to talk to you here about worshipping other gods and occult practices, um, and that is, if you do these, it's not too late to turn back, you can always turn back. Because Jesus has died for your sins, and now because He has done that for you, you can turn back and just repent, and you'll be on the track to being righteous. I'm just going to read out um, what it says in the Bible, and this is in Deuteronomy 16:18 and Deuteronomy 19:14. I'm not sure if I read that right, but I'm not sure. Here we go. Worshiping other gods. Do not set up any wooden Asherah pole beside the altar you build to the Lord your God, and do not erect a sacred stone for these the Lord your God hates. Do not sacrifice to the Lord your God an ox or a sheep that has any defect or flaw in it, for that would be detestable to him. If a man or a woman living among you in one of the towns the Lord gives you is found doing evil, in the eyes of the Lord your God, in violation of his covenant, any contrary, contrary, contrary to my command has worshipped other gods bowing down to them, or to the sun, or to the moon, or the stars in the sky, and this has been brought to your attention, then you must investigate it thoroughly if it is true, and it has been proved that this detestable thing has been done in Israel. Take the man or woman who has done this evil deed to your city gate and stone that person to death. On the testimony of two or three witnesses, a person is to be put to death, but no one is to be put to death on the testimony of only one witness. The hands of the witnesses must be the first in putting that person to death, and then the hands of all the people you must purge the evil from among you. Now, obviously, if you do know someone that worships other gods these days, you do not stone them. That is just what happened in the days before Jesus died on the cross for your sins. These days, you just go up to them, tell them about God, and tell them about Jesus, and hopefully they um, understand. Sorry about the cat meowing. It's, I can't really help that, but, yeah. So, if you do worship other gods and you don't watch this video, think deeply about it, and turn to God and Jesus Christ, it's not too late to turn. So there is worshipping other gods. Now read out on the next page the occult practices. The occult practices. When you enter the land the Lord your God is giving you, do not learn to imitate the detestable ways of your na of the nation. There let no one be found among you who sacrifices their son or daughter in the fire, who practices divination or sorcery interpret Interprets omens, engages in witchcraft, or casts spells, or who is a medium or spiritist, or who consults the dead. Anyone who does these things is detestable to the Lord. And because of these detestable practices, the Lord your God will drive out those nations before you. You must be blameless before the Lord your God. Same thing, obviously, you don't have to stone them to death, anything through occult practices, or worshipping other gods, just tell them about God. And what Jesus has done, down to repent and just give them a Bible, take, show them lessons, and so they come close to Jesus Christ and they find out about the rapture and they repent. So that's this video. This was sort of a short video, two videos in one day. It's my first time doing it, but I thought I better get this out. So yeah, thank you for watching. Have a good day. Uh, may you be blessed. And thank you for watching and goodbye.